Another one is Polygon. Uh, very bullish on Polygon uh, at 82 cents. You got to take advantage of it. I don't think it gets better than this. Uh, can we go lower? Absolutely, yes. If the entire cryptocurrency market continues to pull back, that's going to have an impact on the price of Polygon. And, uh, you know, you could potentially be looking at uh, another retest to the 200 daily moving average. Uh, right now, the 200 daily moving average is exactly at 76 cents. All right. Uh, two days ago, about two days ago, we had this flash drop you know, exactly all the way down to the 200 uh, daily moving average. Uh, we quickly recover, uh, but it looks like we are, you know, back to retest the, uh, the 200 daily moving average, you know, very soon. And we're not, listen, we're not far from it. And if you also look at the trend line, if you look at this trend line right here, all right, I was very excited when when Polygon, you know, broke above the trend line. I was very excited right here. Even this pullback initially also got me excited because normally when you get a breakout, you know, you get a retest. So I thought we were going to have something like this, but we ended up with the opposite of this. We ended up, you know, dropping back uh, below the support. And now, you know, this is a resistance all over again, just like it's been a resistance for a very long time. So looking at Polygon right now, you know, I'm really looking at this level right here as, you know, our next target. Basically, exactly the 200 daily moving average but a very bullish you know project if you zoom out and you look at the monthly time frame and i am looking at the next two months i think within the next two months we are going to have a confirmation bullish confirmation from the monthly macd and that is going to be the beginning of you know, a real bull market for this project. You know, I think what's playing out right now is this right here. You know, I think this is exactly what's playing out right here. And once we break out, you know, we are going to have something like this. All right. So right up here. And hopefully this makes a lot of more sense to you guys. So took advantage of, you know, pullback uh, many, many weeks ago. I was accumulating in the 70, 80 cents range. We are back into uh, the 70s and, you know, 80s. Uh, listen, I wouldn't worry about it. I would not worry about what's going on right now. Uh, another project is Chainlink. Uh, I want you guys to take a look at the setup of Chainlink. This is a chain link is monthly, uh, monthly time frame, and of course, it looks quite bullish. Uh, monthly MACD looks uh, very good. If you look at the lower time, uh, we do have a pullback on the lower time frame. But listen, is this pullback something to worry about? I'll tell you guys right now, absolutely not. Right, this pullback is really nothing to worry about. Reason is because this is a short, this is a short term. Uh, the pullback is short term. The the higher time frame is what you guys need to continue to monitor. Uh, if this, if was if this right here was you know something like this, then you know I will worry about uh, chain link. All right. So if, if you pure, if we purely just look at the the monthly MACD. Monthly MACD turned, you know, very bullish sometimes in October of 2019. So October 2019, we had a bullish monthly MACD. At the time, you know, Chainlink was around a dollar. Uh, monthly MACD turned bearish exactly in October of 2021. 
uh, the price of Chainlink was around $28. So, I want you guys to think about that. Bullish right here, bearish right here. That was, you know, a 1300% run from when the monthly MACD was bullish all the way up until when the monthly MACD was bearish. Uh, monthly MACD turned bearish in October 2021 uh, until just recently, right here in September 2023. Uh, October 2021. Chain link was around $28. And all the way down until the monthly MACD was once again bullish. Uh, price of chain link between five and six dollars. And in terms of a drop, that was about you know a 78% drop. All right. So here we go again. Chain link, monthly MACD has now turned bullish turn bullish in september of 2023 around you know five six dollars so i am going to remain bu uh, bullish on chain link until you know this monthly macd turns bearish again uh time wise if we were to be bullish for the same length uh chain link was bullish for about you know, 762 days. So 762 days, you know, that will put us into, uh, that will put us into October of 2025. 762 days. I mean, this is 61 days. All right. No, what I had was good. 761 days right here. 60, uh, 61, 62, same shit, guys. Uh, 762 days that puts us in October of 2025. So listen, I'm bullish on this market for the next 12 to 18 months. There is going to be pullbacks. This was not a straight line. All right. In the last bull market, when Chainlink went from, from a dollar all the way up to uh, $28. Of course, that was not the top. There is no indicator that's going to be, you know, perfectly right about the bottom and the top all right but a good indicator is going to get it uh, is going to get you in uh at a certain price and is also going to you know get you out at a certain price but it's going to be 80 percent of the entire move so you are going to miss the, the initial 10 percent pump and you're also going to miss the last you know 10 percent top all right so you miss the, the bottom and you also miss the top but you get to catch the you know the big chunk that 80 percent in between all right so this was chain link on the monthly if we go to the daily let me show you that this was not an easy bull market for chain link so listen you would have missed based on the magd the monthly magd you would have missed you know chain link from 17 cents all the way up to two dollars uh you would have missed uh you would have missed you know the first 18 percent move uh jesus 1800 percent rally all right and you would have also missed the last the blow off top right here from 20a so you would have also missed the last 88 percent move all right, but you would have been able to capture a 1300% move. All right, so again, the in between. And let me show you that the whole journey to, uh, from, you know, from $2 all the way up to $28 was not easy. This was how the daily time frame looked like. All right, I mean, this is a, this is a whole mess, guys. I mean, take a look at this. You have multiple, multiple, multiple. Uh, the first drop right here was, this was a 67% drop. The second one, I wanna show you guys 
how volatile this market is. You know, the second one, this one right here, this was a 20% drop. Number three right here, this was a 26% drop. Number four right here, this was a 63% drop. Number five right here, this was a 46% drop. Number six right here, this was a 42% drop. All right, and right here, this was a 74% drop. So I'm saying this to say that in this next 12 to 18 months, guys, you could potentially deal with the same crap. Like you potentially going to deal with, you know, 20% drop here, a 40% drop there, a 70% drop there, an 80, listen, an 80% drop. A 60% drop multiple times, guys. So what you have today is a reminder that you need to zoom out. All right. This is a reminder that you need to zoom out. And let me show you what we've dealt with, you know, so far in this, you know, very short journey. All right. From right here all the way down. This is a 13% drop. And then we had another one right here. This is a 22% drop. And then we had another one right here. 21% drop. And here we go. We're having another one. So far, 20% drop. Listen, guys, we could potentially end up with a 40% drop. As long as this is positive. As long as this is positive, the higher time frame. There is nothing to worry about, all right? As long as the, the trend, you know, the overall trend is up, there is nothing to worry about. Subscribe to the channel, guys. If you appreciate the content, subscribe. Uh, make sure you guys are smashing the like button. Hey, listen, let's get to 40 likes today. Can we get 40 likes? Yesterday, we got 30, I believe. Can we get 40 today? Trying to show you guys uh, that this bull market is not going to be easy. All right. You are going, listen, market is going to test you. The market is going to want to shake you out of your position. It is your responsibility to continue to believe. It is your responsibility to be resilient. It is your responsibility to do your research. Look at the past bull markets. Look at the volatility. You are going to find multiple. 40 listen the old coin market is not for the weak it's for the strongest it's for the brave it's not easy to capture a 10 percent uh, it's not easy to capture a 10x it's not easy to get a 20x listen the higher the multiples the harder it is because of the volatility all right, so the people that turn five thousand dollars into a hundred of thousands, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars, is because they were resilient and they were willing. They were willing to stomach the volatility. They were willing to continue to believe when the market how multiple thirty percent drops. It's listen. It's not easy. When your portfolio is at twenty thousand dollars, and you wake up the next morning, and it's worth fifteen thousand dollars, you're five thousand dollars down. It's not easy when your portfolio is worth twenty thousand dollars, and you wake up the next morning, and you're down thirteen thousand dollars. 